Hello, my name is Asuma and welcome to Minecraft Mythbusting. In this show we take rumours about the game and put them to the test to find out what's actually true and what's not. If you have any myth you want to see busted, just leave a comment on this video and I'll add it to my list. This episode we are going to be testing to find out if water freezes into ice faster in the daytime or the night time. This is a commonly requested myth and I thought as well as doing the day and night we should also be testing to see if the downfall, that be the snow and the rain, has any effect on water freezing into ice as well. So what we have here is a water tray. This holds 315 source blocks of water and if I press F3 you can see that we're in a plains biome and over here it's extreme hills and this area here where our water tray is is all ice plains. So I've used MC Edit to do that which makes this area here perfect for our test and then underneath the tray we have a clock to keep it always day or always night so what we're going to do is the day and night test on the screen at the same time so you can see them side by side and then we'll do that same test again with the downfall turned on So there we go, another myth busting time lapse complete and I think it's fair to say it doesn't matter if it's day or night or if it's snowing or not, it doesn't appear to affect the rate at which water turns into ice and of course we always check things against the game code and Guy Ryan can confirm that at no point does the game check to see if it's day or night or if it's snowing or not. So you may have wondered why this block here was always water, well it's because it has another block above it and that will actually stop water turning into ice and this block was here so I could position the cameraman in the same place each time when recording that. And that may have been a short episode for you but it took me a really long time to record that, there was lots of time lapses to do, transferring files and editing and stuff like that. And you may have also noticed that the second part of the time lapse the quality was a lot lower than usual and that's because of the video having to compress lots of data when it had all of the snow moving across the screen really quickly. Um, so that's why that was a lower quality and you may have also noticed that um, it actually stopped snowing on both times and one time I was able to uh, toggle it back on uh, but the other time unfortunately I missed it but of course we've checked the game code so we know that that doesn't affect it. So that's it for this episode, if you have any myths that you want to suggest just leave a comment in the comment box and if you want to watch the previous episode or more myth busting there will be some annotations on your screen in a moment that you can click so thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. <laughs>